This one's a little bit different. I have so many words and thoughts in my head. So many decisions to be made, so many things going on, I don't even know where to start. And I guess the best way I've found is to just start talking. This is vlog 365. Vlog 365. I never know which way still. You'd think after a year I'd know which way pointing, but it doesn't matter. A year though. It's been a full year. An entire year of this camera being by my side. Me waking up and staring into this lens and saying anything I want for an entire year. That's crazy. I remember when I started this project, I was in a very, very confused, lost state. I had just moved to Chicago. I wanted to get off the road. I wanted to do more. And I, it was the, the, the turning point of me just naturally having this work craze constantly, wanting to create and do, and I'd, I'd wanted a camera forever, and even back in high school and the early college levels, I had talked to some friends that had worked at Best Buy and stuff like that, and they're saying, just get it, just go with it. And it took me moving state, it took me leaving everything to finally have some quiet time to actually figure out what I needed. And I think in turn, I've kind of gotten... <laughs> The shirts inside out. So I started this project. I mean, I've always wanted to vlog. I liked watching specific vloggers. Even before that, even when Snapchat first came out and they started to show day in the life and they'd go to India or Denmark or something random I've never been to and just see their daily lives, like going to markets. Anything that they might do that's just so much different than me here in Denver, Colorado, USA country. Like, that was super intriguing to me. I, I, I remember back when we were traveling, I would ask Trent random things about farming just because I just wanted to know. That was something ingrained into his blood, into his daily life back in the day, and he knows everything about it, and I don't, I don't know anything. And I, that just started my mind into this wonder and interest. So I guess I started doing it too because I appreciated it or I liked it. People would ask me, why do you, well, why do you vlog? What, what is this? And it's, it's a lot of main things. I did a lot of cool stuff back when I was younger when I didn't have a camera and I have zero proof of it. I might have like, excuse me, I might have like one or two pictures, but I had like cool dorm room setups and I did work on cars with crazy lights and things like that. And I don't have any proof. And it's not that I need to prove it to anybody. It's, it's for my own self. Yes, it's nice to be able to show a video or picture when you're telling a story, but being able to tell the whole story of the entire day that you created. Which brings me to my second point. This was the time when I had this crave for working. I wanted to do more and I... I really didn't know. Was I going to take the DJ stuff farther and actually pursue that more and start focusing on it? Was I going to get into different arts? And this was just a way to kind of creatively release or just keep the creative gears running, if that makes sense. I remember when I had so much free time when I was just touring and DJing, when I should have started vlogging, I would say, oh, you know, I have all the free time in the world. I only work on the weekends. I have plenty of time to make mixes, songs, start working on production, anything else. And I didn't do it. I had no structure around it. And working for yourself, you have to have something pushing you. And if you don't have your own drive, you're going to fall behind because I have a thousand bajillion times. We're not going to say a million. We're going to say a bajillion, whatever that might number be. Of course, I've gotten lazy and just sat around sometimes. In conjunction with that, I'm trying to order a lot of art pieces and a lot of symbolic wall pieces that can keep me going and motivate me. But I'm kind of at a point now, vlogging was a great way for me to make my own movie that I shot, edited, and published all together. And it was a lot of work, especially when I'm behind, like now, it sucks. It's spending hours staring at the same things and trying to be creative between different days, and that's not what it's supposed to be. If you're supposed to be daily vlogging, it's supposed to be daily vlogging, and that's my fault. And that's like the only reason why I keep going, oh, should I stop? You know, I'm at 365 now. Then do I take a break and just catch up? But there's a lot of things happening soon that I'd love to document too, and I don't know if I should stop and focus completely or really kick myself up and do both. If I'm caught up, I can easily do the video in the morning. I've said that a million times, and I can structure things around the days that don't have stuff, but the thing is, I'm not doing that, and do I need to quit? Because it, I keep saying, oh, you know, if I just do this, then I can, no, well, I'm not doing that. I'm not holding myself accountable. And I think that's, excuse me, that is the biggest thing when doing your own thing. So I really don't know here. I mean, I'm in Colorado. I'm loving it. 
this one year of vlog took me from multiple different states and cities and I've got a lot of little projects but I still don't really know which way I'm headed there's a lot of things I've talked about in this vlog that I'd like to do but I've been weeding them out slowly and seeing where do I really want to direct my focus and I don't know yet I'm scared that if I keep this I'm not focusing I'm scared that if I keep if I keep doing this and keep falling behind that I'm going to keep pushing away and keep distracting myself from what I'm really needing to do. There's a lot of little music projects I can keep up, but I don't know if what I'm going to be doing with DJing, what I'm going to be doing with event stuff, and I, I'm kind of in this, I'm still kind of in this stuck mode. Through vlogging and through all of this, I've gained so much more skill, obviously, in all the production side, and a more creative artist side, seeing through a lens, appreciating more. It has definitely increased my skills across the board, not just in photography or videography or in understanding the basics and 101s of using a camera, as I'm not even close to some of these other guys that I've worked with on their skill levels and visions and whatnot. But I like how amateur this is. I'm sidetracking now. Today is vlog 365, January. We're gonna go spend the day, check it out. Puppies at the adoption center. I need to definitely get some more fish for my aquarium because my plants are all dying due to lack of CO2. Obviously, I have like 10 vlogs left and there's no way I'm gonna be able to push those all out by tomorrow with all the things going on. So part of me wants to just take a break, catch up on vlogs, catch up completely, take a break, reset my gears and kind of go at it again. Also because one, yesterday, this was terrible. And one other project I'd like to do is actually finally get my own nice power Mac. I mean, uh, this iMac's nice, my laptop's great, they're both like five to six years old. And ha the stuff that I'm doing and about to do, I'm gonna need some more processing power. That's one project I'd love to document. Do I do it on my vlog or do I create something separate completely? The thing is, if I stop vlogging, obviously the, log uh, the logical breakdown is if I stop vlogging and I wanted, I wish I did, I don't have those days anymore. You can't create out of nothing. I can always keep vlogging and not do, but then what's the point of that? I think if anything, if I want to keep vlogging, I better kick the ante up. And if so, maybe I do need to just take a f few days break, catch up, then if this is something I really want to keep doing, actually hit it hard and stick with it. Really, when I lay down in bed at night, and if I have some time, I'll go over some of my old vlogs, especially some of my favorite ones, and I love it. They're really for me. I love going back and watching what I did during the day. And on top of that, not only not only shooting your entire day, but then going in later in post and almost reliving the entire day by going through the footage and sorting it and put, clipping it all together. In turn, it's actually helped my mind almost retain things so much more and, and learn so much quicker as I'm getting hit completely with my entire day again, with everything I've talked about, everything I've done, everything I might have tried out. And yes, a lot of those days were lazy. A lot of those days had nothing to it. But the ones that did, it's incredible when I would, when I was reviewing the footage right before making the movie, how many times, oh, remember that? Yeah, that clicks. And, and, and even not only that, but learning from either my mistakes or my choices that I've made in a rapid fashion. I mean, I'm seeing them completely full out, not, oh, do I remember what I did last? I, I, I just watched through all of Tuesday's footage, and I know exactly what I did, and definitely I should have done that differently. It's, it's an crazy ball-moving kind of learning and growing, and it's incredible, and that's, I can't really explain that, and that has honestly put, helped put my head in a stronger, more creative state. Vlogging to me almost, in a sense, is a type of workout for my brain. Keep the gears running, creatively, but also, what other scenario where you're constantly refreshing every single thing you've done? Not every single thing, every single thing I've shot, but for this example's sake, what other instance is there that you relive entire days on a constant basis and can learn from them? I don't want to stop vlogging, but I do think it might be important to take a break. A drone comes in on a Wednesday, and even then, I don't know, if I take a break, am I gonna just do once every while? Am I gonna just do collaboration ones? Because all the other little videos, I'm not proud of them. There's nothing to them. And I really wish I would've shot differently. And that's my laziness, that's all my fault. A lot of those days also are the days that I work specifically just staring at the computer, getting things ready or done, and it's not really exciting. And it's almost sometimes I don't want to divert my attention to vlogging so I can really crank, it's, it's, it's allocating all the RAM in my brain completely for this project versus spreading it out and making sure to do this and this and that. Though that might be helpful, I'm not sure, but it, to me, like when I have a big promo that needs to be done or a big music project, I like to kick in the entire day and devote the entire thing to it. I think I'm going to take a few days off at least. Take some time to reflect, take some time to catch up, 
I know I'll start vlogging again, I don't know when. I do miss surrounding myself with like-minded people. And I don't mean that in any negative sense toward those who are around me currently. I just wish there were one more people, especially in this kind of creative progressive atmosphere. I haven't used progressive a lot. Lately my word has been focus. A note with that, I have a lot of just keywords that I like to push for a week or two. That's what I'm faulting in. Maybe it's focusing, maybe it's progressiveness. It's There's a lot of things, but anyways. And that's why my meetings with certain individuals from back home are beneficial, but I really miss having crazy work hard people around me constantly pushing me as well because it's, it, I don't want to blame it on others, but it, I don't, I don't want to blame it on others, excuse me. It is my fault for not being able to push myself, but I'd love to have a team that I could work with. That's the big one, having a good, strong team with you. You can do a lot, but if you have a team, I know Charles told me that long time ago, and it didn't really click until I started doing all this, and until I got out here and was not surrounded by a bunch of people that were doing kind of the same things or pushing in the creative industry. I suppose back in like 2012 when I first started DJing outside of Cedar Falls, when I first started touring really, putting out good work and just focusing on that, I found others that I could be become team part of, or I found others in the industry through my work, and maybe that's what I have to do is just really focus and push out good content. And if not doing daily is going to help that, then maybe I need to start with that, but I love the daily concept so much. I need more drive, I need, I, I just, I need something to kick me. And that's what I'll spend the next few days reflecting on. We're gonna have a great vlog 365 today, and I'll see you soon. We're going to the puppy center to go look at puppies, I guess. This dog loves these birds. It is a madhouse in there. Unfortunately, they have you sign all these things and put driver's license, and there's a giant line, which I am glad that they do those kind of things to not let everybody just go in and touch all the dogs and stuff. That's probably not good for them. But I got some fish. I'll show them to you here in, well, I gotta drive first. was the best insurance meeting I've ever had. And I have a great understanding for everything that's happening. So we're gonna head to Stapleton now. Hey, My hi. sister's working and... What do you say? Yeah, hey. that's happening now. For day 365, we're going to a new restaurant called Brothers.
Operation Doggy Bag. Get a running start. Food! You want me to. Too dark. <laughs> 